enter the garden. We're getting the last of our poppies. Most of them have actually set seed and are starting to dry on the pod. But they have really interesting little pods. They have this kind of umbrella at the top. That little flat spot and it's in a really beautiful spirally kind of a star-shaped flower pattern. And then look, just underneath are these little slots. And that's where the seeds have been coming out. I put one in my pocket. I didn't realize they would spill seeds everywhere. Check it out. These are so cool. They look engineered, don't they? I think these are all seeds. Some of that could be chaff, but they kind of disperse their seeds just by falling out those little holes. Look at this little guy. He was just sitting right in front of us. He's got a pretty decent spot there. But look at all these poppy seeds. This one was just unfurled this morning, and we can tell because it's kind of crumpled. They actually are really tightly packed and they kind of unfurl. This white poppy is brand new this morning, as well as this one too. It has quite a bit of red color in there, but it's mostly white. It's a really lovely variation. But just behind it there, look at this. I've never seen one actually unfolding before. That's beautiful. Bright red poppy just coming out of its little sprout. They look like this most of the time. Kind of a, a dangling, fuzzy little bulb. See if we can help it out just a touch. Now hopefully it'll unfurl. Wow, that happened fast. I just went to get a tripod and by the time I came back, look at how much it's unraveled. That's so beautiful. It only took like a minute. I've been collecting all the pods that I can for about the past month or two. And boy, did we ever get a lot. Look at all these seeds, how they pile up. So I think the true seeds are these kind of kidney-shaped, almost blue, kind of a grayish-black color. And then that brown stuff is probably just chaff. That's just the casings and things. This year I didn't actually separate these by color. Because we got bright red poppies, pink ones, white ones, and pretty much every variation in between. And because these seeds are so tiny, we don't actually have to bury them to plant them. We just want to press them into some prepared soil. That'll just kind of surround them just a little bit, keep them moist, and they should germinate. The seeds look like little beans. Like little kidney beans. 
I find that a lot of flower seeds are really interesting. They kind of curl and just look alive. They're kind of pocked, like a blackberry seed or like a morel mushroom. They're just stunning. Here we can kind of see the interior structure a bit. They're kind of portioned off into little cells. But then, once those open up, the seeds just come pouring out like salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cool. And we got so many seeds, we're going to be able to plant the entire garden. I'll also probably try eating some of these and making some tea. So I hope you stay tuned for that. So if you like what you saw in the garden today, maybe give poppies a grow in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.